Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new. I am Sweet Ash Gamer, and today we are going to be playing a new game called Fall of Porcupine. I was given a code for this game, so let's go ahead and check it out. I'm really excited because there was a game called Night in the Woods that kind of gives me the same vibe of this, so I'm really excited to get into it. So let's play. Is a story set in a healthcare environment and contains plot points that deal with issues relating to stress, illness, death, and self-doubt, among other things. Please pause the game if you feel unwell and consider contacting family, friends, or a professional for support. That is a very nice thing to put in there. Let's continue. Oh my gosh, this really reminds me so much of that game that had these loading screens too. Are you alive? Oh, this is me. <laughs> I just walking. Ooh, pretty full. Ah, I'm a bird. What kind of bird am I? I don't even know. Ooh, flower. Hey, Finley, nice to see you at last. I'm Finley. Why the long face? Oh, no reason. I wasn't expecting to run into my houseplant here. Who were you expecting? Your washing machine, perhaps? By the way, we need to talk about her. The way my pot vibrates when you set her to spin. No. I don't know. I think I'm looking for something. Oh, really? What would that be? I have no idea. But it was important. And I think I've lost it. Well, if you don't remember what it was, it couldn't have been that important. I'm sure it can wait, buddy. You think so? Of course. Come on, relax. Just take a look at this meadow. The lush grass, the bright warm sun, wonderful soothing music. How can you worry when you see that? Yeah, it's good to be out in the sun. I'm not sure I hear any music, though. <laughs> Oh yeah, wait a minute. There we go, better? Ah, yes. Kulamundo. Just let your leaves dangle. Leave your worries by the wayside. Yes, yes, I should do that. I just need to relax a little bit. Great, that's what I want to hear. Lost things always turn up eventually. So go find yourself a comfy spot. Make yourself at home. I might do that. I'm going to have a little look around. It's so beautiful here. I want to pick out my spot carefully. The choice is all yours. Just relax. Your frazzled feather feathers. <laughs> That's the main thing. Enjoy, Finno. Thank you. Wow, pretty trees. Wow, look at the clouds. Oh. Well, that seemed dangerous. What's this? Another one? Hello there, buddy. We meet again. Oh, that's that's still you? How goes the relaxation? Did you find the person you were looking for? Um... Person? What? Oh, don't mind me. Isn't it fantastic here? I'm looking for a person? Uh, we're all having a great time, am I right? So what are you gonna do now? Why don't you leave me alone? I don't know. <laughs> Who's the big guy behind you? What? Oh, him? That's Hugo. We went to university together. <laughs> He's great to climb around on. I used to do that all the time. Okay. You won't let me. You won't let me anymore, though. Not since I got aphids. Ugh. Want to give it a try? Sure. Why not? I don't think I can get past the giant flower. I thought we were talking about the giant flower. 
Oh, oh, <laughs> that's your friend. I thought, <laughs> wow, no problem at all. No problem. The whole ground was shaking. Hugo's quite ticklish. You need to be careful when you climb on him. Don't break any of his leaves. Oh, he prides himself on his great foliage, you know. Got it. Do 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 do. Hmm. Do do do. Um. How do I get up there? Oh. Hello, Finstar! Up here! Yeah, I know. How do I get there? How do you get all the way up there? <laughs> I'm a plant of many talents. I'm not allowed to climb here anymore, so I had to come up with another solution. What do you want to do? I don't know yet. Maybe I want to dive into the water? Seriously? I thought we were just going to chill. Besides, it looks pretty deep. I think it is, yeah. Maybe what I'm looking for is down there, though. Yeah. I just want to check it out. Well, whatever floats your boat, little fella. I'm more of a partial shade kind of guy. Besides, I'm prone to overwatering. Chicken? Bark, 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 bark. Whee! That was fun. Oh no. Oh, this is kind of scary. Oh, there's another plant guy down here. Hey, plant guy, help. Help. I'm under the sea. You made it after all. Yep. You know me, never pass up on a good time. You all right? I'm going to catch a cold. Then you'll need to take care of me. Go shopping for me. <laughs> Do my taxes. The water's lovely. I don't know what you're going on about. No. I don't like water. Oh, you want me to stop watering you? That's different. You wouldn't understand. It's a flower thing. Oh, okay. Actually, maybe we could get out of here. All right. All right, let's go. Oh my. Is that like a, some sort of statue down here? Isn't that the statue from the town square? I don't know. Are you in charge of the water here? Can you hear me? It's a statue. I'm looking for something. Maybe you've seen it. No response. How rude. Are you okay? <laughs> That's a statue. <laughs> swim, swim. Ah, here we are. Nice sandy beaches. All right. Hey, guy. The Finmeister. There you are. What took you so long? You're looking better again. Hey, who can be down when you're down at the beach? Right. That moment when the excess water disappears and you feel the first tickle of photosynthesis kick in. There's nothing like it, man. I just can't get enough. I forget everything around me. Who are you again? <laughs> Finley, you live with me? Pina gave you to me. You're from her flower store. Finley, fondly, dingly, dongly. It's all the same to me right now. Oh, yeah. This place seems kind of familiar. Have you been here before? Maybe, but not like this. You sure do have some strange notions. So have you found what you're looking for yet? No, I don't. I'm not. No. I don't think I'm actually looking for something. I'm looking for someone. Well, congratulations. You found someone. Your very best flower, buddy. Now grab yourself a drink and lie down on the sand. We haven't had a vacation in a long time. I, uh... I'll be right there. Maybe I'll find who I'm looking for here on the beach. All right. Don't get sunburned. After all, I'm not an aloe vera. That's true. You're not. Ooh, pretty sandcastles. Wow. Whee! <gasps> oh my gosh. I think I died. <laughs> I bounced my way into the heavens. What is this place? What are you? Ingrid! Ingrid, I know this person. <laughs> nice to see you. Do you happen to know where... Where Mr. Ardenus is? Mr. Ardenus? I was looking for Mr. Ardenus. He's a patient of ours. And he's disappeared. Oh... Am I, are we in the hospital now? 
Wait, I'm so- I was taking the elevator. Something went wrong. The elevator? That was the elevator? <laughs> I had to find my sergeant. I'm so confused. Otherwise, something will happen to him. Sorry, Ingrid. You know how much I enjoy it. This feels like a dream. You know how when you're having dreams, things in your dream, like, they don't actually make sense in the moment they make sense, but then when you wake up and you think about it, you're like, uh, that, that doesn't really make any sense. This feels like a dream. You know how much I enjoy our conversations. But I've got a feeling something's happened to Mr. Ardenus. We'll catch up again soon, promise. Can I sit in these chairs? Excuse me, I would like to pop a squat. Oh, the elevator. No smoking. Well, then no deal. <laughs> uh, oh, this way? There's no going any further. Why does it smell like blueberry pudding? I don't know. <laughs> All right, in the elevator. Going up? <laughs> okay. I thought we were all the way up. Ooh, a mysterious portal of some sort. I love the way my eyes glow. Mr. Ardenus has to be here somewheres. Hello, Mr. Ardenus, can you hear me? I don't really want to walk through this spooky, um, hospital basement sort of dealio. Uh, I don't even have a flashlight or nothing, just my glowing little eyeballs. Oh, what does that mean? Deer? <laughs> Are those birds? I can't tell. Hello? Oh, there's boards in my way. I guess I need to jump. Yep. <laughs> Hello? There seems to be things blocking my path. That's very unprofessional. Hello? I don't think I can go that way. Ah, oh, there we go. Parkour. Parkour. We're parkouring now in the hospital. I feel like that's not a good idea. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. There's blood. I kind of wanted to turn back around. Is someone there? There's, there's blood on the floor, on the floor, on, on, there's, there's blood all over the floor, actually. There are boxes full of documents and folders on the hospital bed. Strange place for an office. I guess everyone has their own take on interior design. The bed almost looks like an actual desk. Maybe I should... Ugh! There's someone back there. Mr. Ardenus? Is that you? Am I, am I supposed to go? I don't really want to go. <laughs> Ew. I, I'm stepping in it. That's... Blood. It's still fresh. <laughs> it has not coagulated in the least. Oh. This is fresh. Oh, uh, that's a dead body. Hello? Are you alive? Mr. Hardness, you're bleeding. Don't move. Uh, what? Who? Who are you? Just stay calm. I'm gonna help. Oh. Is anyone there? Somebody's freaking there. What do you mean is anyone there? Some of course somebody's there. We need some help. Hello? Don't you, shouldn't you be concerned like what happened to him? Like, don't call out to the murderer. Are you joking? Oh, right in the noggin. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Are we dead? Beep. Oh, I was just joking. I was just joking. Wait. Hello? Oh. Wait, can you... Oh, that was my alarm. I thought I was dead. Whoa, look at all these text messages. I can text a cow. Hi, Finley. Dr. Krokowski asked me to, asked, asked me to send you my number. Hello, Mia, thanks. Here's my number two. <laughs> Looking forward to working with you. Mia too. See you tomorrow. 
Get well soon. I heard what happened. Should I be worried? How bad's the injury? Thanks. Don't worry, I'm fine. I'll just rest up for a few days. Then I'll be back at work. Hope you've not got too much work covering for me. Don't worry about that right now. Just be careful in the future, okay? There's a lot going on in our ward right now. Anyway, anyway, you just get yourself healthy again. Consider it done. Good morning. Hope you're feeling well again. Glad you're coming back to work to get today. <laughs> Maybe we'll have time to chat. Then you can finally tell me about what happened. Okay, cat. Carl. Oh. Mia. Carl. Oh my gosh, Carl. Hi, Finley. Here's my number. Feel free to come to me if you have any questions. Yesterday was fun. You're a cool guy. That's not me. You get shaken. How's your head? How's your head? Hey, Carl. I'm all right. Thanks. Head's still throbbing a bit. How's the ward? Sorry I'm off work so soon, so soon after starting. Don't worry. Could have happened to anyone. Besides, you're only trying to help me find Mr. Ardness. Still feel bad about it. Forget about it. Order yourself a pizza instead. That sounds like a good idea. Pina! What? What happened? Box fell on my head. Got a nasty cut. Whoa, well, Finley, you need to be more careful. Do you need anything? Nah, I'm good. I'm Gucci. <laughs> okay, I'll be driving out of town again in a few minutes. Is it okay if I stop by and bring you something? I'm good. What is it? A gift. Okay, sounds intriguing. Thanks for stopping by. It was good to see you. Thanks for the plant. Oh, that's right. She gave me the plant. Regular light, not too much water. Empty the sachet I gave you into the soil three days from now. Crazy you didn't have any plants until now, by the way. I can't imagine what that's like. <laughs> got it. I'll remember. Wow. Mom, you text with your mommy? Oh my gosh. You got a lot of texts from your mom. Look at all that. Oh my gosh. You text your mom a lot. Hey, sweetheart, back home now. Hope you're doing well. Managed to take a break. Yeah, actually taking an unscheduled break right now. Had an accident at work on sick leave for a few days. <gasps> what? What's wrong? Do you need me to come over, baby? I love you so much, my, my darling little child. No. <laughs> Everything's fine. It's just a bump on the head. Calm down, mom. Nothing serious. I'll be on the next train. What do you need? Do you have someone to do your shopping? Mom, I'm good. <laughs> okay, but let me know if you need anything, okay? I'll be there right away. Okay, will do. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> ah! Okay, what else we got on this phone? Nothing. Notes. I got notes. Mia started as an intern on the same day I did. It's her first job, too. I'm impressed by how much theoretical knowledge she has. I think I can learn a lot from her. Cool. Carl is a nurse on my ward. Okay. He's been at St. Ur Ursula's for a long time. He knows his stuff very well. You're happy to work with him. He's well known and loved. Cool. Uh, you met Pina on your way to work. She's nice. Owns a flower shop. First real contact. Ingrid. A hosp entered as a ho the hospital as a resident for the first time. Okay. She is the heart of St. Ursula's. Cool. All right. Oh, my bedroom. I love it, man. Another one of those weird dreams. I fear... Was that a dream? I legit was like... Was that a dream? I feel really groggy. Feels like I haven't slept at all. Maybe I should just give up sleeping altogether. Ugh. Okay, nothing else for it. Time to get up. Get up. Aw, put a little band-aid on your forehead. <laughs> oh, look at this round. Woo, woo, woo. Uh, uh, I want to slide in my socks. Got some socks. Woo. Hey, plant friend. Are you, you know, got some sort of secret identity going on or? Just standing there in your pot as if nothing happened. You give me quite the rest of this night. It's all right for you. You don't have to go to work. If I can find beach sand in your pot tonight, there'll be trouble. Ooh, yeah, sneaky little plant. I used to game with my roommate every night until when we were in university. Oh, cool. She always kicked my butt in the one-on-one -on -one Viking battles. Cool. I figured I could treat myself to some gaming after work that chance i haven't touched the thing since i moved in oh that sucks are we a boy or a girl oh my oh you changed your clothesies cool 
What's this? I got a heap of mail when I first moved here. Porcupine isn't big, but it was still kind of nice. A bus timetable, a sightseeing guide, and a trial subscription to the daily newspaper. Maybe I'll become a newspaper reader one day. <laughs> Unlikely. Then I can buy a pair of glasses like Ingrid's. Hey! Alright, anything else? Ooh, more room. Or did I just leave? I have no idea. Oh, outside! Outside! What is this place? Ooh, bicycles is mine. That bike's been there ever since I moved in. So either someone moved and forgot about it, or it's not biking season here. If it's still there, come winter, I'll take it with me and get it fixed up. You're gonna steal a bike? That's rude. Hi, people! Oh my goodness, look at this doggo! Aww, the doggo is a mail carrier! I love that! Hi, little bear! <laughs> Ah, uh, can you imagine all these people, like, uh, <laughs> you walk up to, oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Hello. Morning, Finley. Running late. Hey, Susie. Yeah, had a restless night. Crazy dreams. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Most nights, I don't dream at all. But sometimes I dream that I'm running just on the spot for no reason. <laughs> that definitely comes from work. I heard Lewis Colbert's having trouble sleeping, too. He's worried about the store. People just don't buy as much stationery as they used to. I mean, I'm not complaining. Less for me to carry, right? Are you doing your rounds already? Come on, you know me better than that. I'm finished already. Just wondering what to have for lunch. Lunch? You really have an odd routine. Well, the post won't post itself. True. But I should post myself to the hospital, that is. Don't let me stop you. Don't get lost now. That's what happens when you don't know the town as well as I do. Okay, know-it-all. Uh, what's on my phone? What? You got a note? Susie is a know-it-all. <laughs> Susie's the only mail carrier. She knows everyone, perhaps a little too well. I get the impression that she's a little too nosy for her own good. Yeah, um, I get that impression too. Interesting. Hello? Is anybody awake? Oh, bus stop. Why does it say no? No what? No papers? No papers at the bug, bug, st bug stop. <laughs> Bus stop. What's the sign say? Church? From here, I can get to the old town and the high street. It's weird what passes from a high street in a small town. All I know is that Pina's store is there, but I should check out the street when I'm free sometime. The old town lives up to its name, at least. Small, crooked, old houses, town hall, town fountain. Gilbert's, of course, the best and only pub. Oh, best of all, both routines lead to St. Ursula's Hospital. Cool. Let's go this way. I'm going on what I perceive to be High Street. <laughs> but I don't know for sure. Walking on High Street. Hello. Oh my goodness, this is High Street. I'm way up in the sky. So clear you can see the Glow Milk Woods. Ooh, Glow Milk. I like this morning air in the fall. Too bad I don't have more time. I wouldn't mind grabbing a coffee and eating my breakfast, right? That looks so pretty. Wow, fun, fun. Can I fly? Woo! Fly! Oh, did you see that? I just flew. Woo! Oh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Where? Oh. What is that? <laughs> Excuse me. Hi. Oh, I should talk to you. Goodness, you're a fast walker. Oh, you bitch. Spyro and Boulder. Good morning. No, no, I'm just running late. Late for an appointment, is it? You know, the more time passes, the less I believe in the idea. What idea? The idea of being late. Are you new here? I've never seen you before. Yes, actually, I started at St. Ursula's Hospital a few weeks ago. So you're a doctor? Yes, well, almost. Like a junior doctor. That's marvelous. People like you are just what Porcupine needs. My name is Adele von Witterstein. I'm Porcupine's oldest citizen. I've seen many people come and go. Some were in a hurry. 
Some have stayed to this day. You, I'm guessing you're the hurrying type. Am I right, doctor? Yeah, <laughs> but only because I, I, I kind of gotta get, I gotta get, get to work, you know. Well, one should never throw rocks into the rushing rapids. But when you have a moment, sometime, I know a lot about this town. You can always ask me if you have any questions. Yeah, I might take you up on the offer. Thanks. <laughs> I see it as my calling. But for now, full steam ahead. There are younger folk than me to keep alive here. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> What's this sign say? That's Gilbert's. It's a pretty good place to go. Not that there are any alternatives. I'll be back soon enough. Bye, Gilbert. I'm assuming you're Gilbert. See you. Should I say, say like hi to you, Gilbert? Hi. Good morning, Guliano. Long time no see, Finley. Yeah, I was laid up in bed for a while. Thought as much. The band-aid gives you away. Everything good with you? I'll be alright. I'm sure you will. You want to cool that lump on your head with a nice cold drink? Just come by. Thanks, Guliano. I might take you up on that. Alright, I think I'm making like notes about people here. Yeah, okay, she's eccentric. She, we met her this morning. She uh, knows a lot of stuff. Okay. Uh, and Guliano, we really like him. He owns uh, the bar. Cool. Fun. We'll be back, Guliano, if that is your real name or how to say it, at least. <gasps> Look, the town square! Hey, that was in my dream. That's the big fountain. It's a statue of Ninoslav Honoratus. Honoratus. The founder of Porcupine. Wow, that is a hard name. What's up, Nino? Why isn't the water running? Seems to be broke. Dang. Sad days. Broken fountain. Hello. Oh my gosh, your little wiggly ears are so cute. I wish my ears wiggled when I walk. <laughs> oh my gosh. If I was like actually in this game right now and people could hear me, these people could hear me, they'd be like... You're so annoying! <laughs> Alright. What's this? Rusty old truck wasn't here last time I came to work. It's locked, too. Suspicious. What are you hiding, rusty old truck? Treasure? Perhaps? A dead body? Maybe even ten dead bodies. Is there super secret alien technology inside of you? Are you the truth of all things? The answer to the great questions of the universe? Come on, reveal your secrets. Uh, I think you're getting a little bit too into this. You need to get yourself to work. Oh, should I take the high hill? No, I'll just walk down here. Oh, it's so cute. It's so pretty. Hey, there's a, there's a bike. Can I have that bike? Am I there yet? Jeez. Walked all the way. St. Ursula's Hospital. You squeal, we heal. <laughs> uh, that was a good one. All right. Oh, look at the bear. Statues out here every day, from dawn to dusk, come rain or shine. Yeah, that's how statues work. It's never complained. How do you do it? Ah, uh, it's a statue. Regular sleep, balanced meals, exercise three times a week. You're a little funny guy. A guy can dream. All right, let's get to work before I'm fired for being late. Ooh, splish splash. On my way to work. Let's go. Here we are. The daily grind. The good old vending machine. Handy source of breakfast. End of shift reward. True, true. Of course, it's been broken ever since I started here. But hey, it's important to have constants in life. Still, I wouldn't say no to a chalk dog right now. Every morning, they gleam through the glass, laughing at me. Just like they've been doing since before I was born. And still will be long after I'm gone. They'll outlive us all. Are we talking about Twinkies now? <laughs> Thousands of years from now, alien beings will dig up this vending machine. What was this machine's purpose? What primitive civilization created it? That's what they'll ask themselves. 
Perhaps with their advanced technology, they'll be able to actually get at the tasty treats. I don't think they'll be tasty by then. You got a long way to go, vending machine. You talk to things a lot. <laughs> what was that? Oh, I changed my clothes. Hey, what's your name? Ursula? Was it Ursula? Wait, that's the name of the hospital. Eugene? Ingrid? Was it Ingrid? Morning, kid. So you're back, huh? Ingrid! Got it. <laughs> Yes, my injury's healing up nice. I got a little boo-boo. Heard about your accident. Everyone's heard about it. Everyone wants to know what happened up there on the fifth floor. Yeah, me too. You want to hear my theory? Uh, sure. This might sound a bit complicated, but the evidence speaks for itself. I've thought it through several times, and it all makes sense. What do you think? I've only known you for a few weeks now. But... It must have something to do with you specifically. Really? What do you mean? Well, we have a name for that kind of thing here in Porcupine. A sophisticated technical term that aims to define the social and anthropological characteristics of the phenomenon. What? The term is... Klutz. <laughs> Just kidding, kiddo. How's Mr. Ardenus? The old duffer's still alive, making himself cozy in bed on your ward again. Phew, okay, really glad to hear that. You've only been here a short while. But because of that night, people know you now. You're the boy who survived. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> but seriously, people might still have questions for you. Just so you know, better be prepared. Anyway, my coffee's getting cold. Well, that's because you keep talking. <laughs> You need to swing your butt on over to the ward on the third floor in case the dent in your noggin caused more damage than we thought. I know where my ward is. That's good. Hop to it then before Dr. Krokowski rips your head off. You're right. I'll get going. Bye. Oh. Ouch. That sounded like it hurt. Kick it again. Kick, 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 kick. I'll see you. All right, to the elevator. Use the elevator or walk? Use the elevator, please. I'm a lazy bird. Hello, third floor. Third floor of my hospital is babies. Are we a baby doctor? Hello. Hi, people. Oh, I like your... Oh my gosh, you're so cute. What are you? You're beautiful. Fire extinguisher. Can I have this? Nope. Hello. You look mean. Oh, you're my friend. Can I say hi to you? Moo cow. Alright. Gotta talk to you. Oh, Finley. Half an hour early. That's refreshing. Just what I'd like to see. I'm early? Really? Of course not. You're horrifically late. Again. Let me guess. The bus didn't come? Yeah, well, um, I guess I walked. <laughs> the, bu the bus is unreliable. Cannot be trusted. Find a way to get here on time before we decide we cannot trust you. Got it? Yeah, got it. Sorry, Dr. Krokowski. If it's not too much trouble, we'll start our rounds in room 301. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can I have a minute? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh, compose myself. Oh, I was just yelled at, you know, so... Oh, oh, pink scrubs! Are you a baby doctor? Alright, let's go in. That is not a baby. Are you dead? Hello? Okay. This patient has his eyes closed. So here's Miss Martin. Good morning. You're very late today. <laughs> ah, Miss Martin. A woman after my own heart. Miss Martin's in a hurry to get home. That's a good sign. But you still need some rest. Okay, Miss Martin. Came to us yesterday with pain in her upper, upper abdomen. 
She was also complaining of heartburn, nausea, and loss of appetite. Yes, but the real reason was a sharp pain in the heart. I panicked and called the emergency doctor. I was in so much pain I could hardly move. That was exactly the right thing to do. Anyone have any ideas? Mia? Me? Well... Come on, spit it out. Uh, yes? Ulcer? A, a stomach ulcer? Is that a question? Or your answer? My answer? Bingo. The reason for the symptoms is a stomach ulcer. Are we just playing a guessing game here? We still have to investigate the cause. So far, there's no indication of gastritis or anything along those lines. Okay, Miss Martin. We'll probably keep you one more night. We'll check your readings again later. Just try to relax. Finley, you'll take care of Miss Martin's medication later. Let's continue in room 303. Chop, chop! Look sharp! You're rude. Hi, Miss Martin. Are you okay? Ouch. I'll take that as a yes. Okay. Bye. Excuse me, sir. Oh my gosh. I think he just died. This patient is decaying. I... Room 303. Ah, I'm panicking again. What about 302? What's the what's the story with 302? Why aren't we gonna check on 302? Not worried about 302. Okay. You the same person again? This is weird. Okay. Oh, we're back. Well, or so how are we today? Quite okay, Doctor. To what? Doc Torsky? It's good to hear that. Oh, it's a joke. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Can you take a few deep breaths in and out for us? Like last night? Oh. That's right. Careful. <laughs> Sorry, Dr. Kroskowski. No problem. That was very, very good. How's it going? Do you want to tell the other doctors why you're here? Yes, I can do that, Dr. K. Uh, I forgot if this was a male or a female pig. <laughs> so we're just gonna go female, because I forgot, sorry. Well, I was down at the school with the others. We were at the back of the skate park. I can't skate that well. I only just got a skateboard for my birthday. Are you a child? But I lovely want to learn. My board is super cool. It has green wheels, and the grip tape is black and brand new. I think this is a child. I've heard other skaters scratch their board up on purpose to make it look cooler. I don't get that. My board has a big picture of a robot on the bottom. It's way cool. Way too cool. I don't want to scratch that up. Very good. W very good? W but what were you all doing down at school? Ah. Well, it was like this. My buddy Crystal stole some cigarettes from a stepdad. He said if you want to be a good skater, you gotta smoke too. It's all part of the deal, he said. I really didn't want to, but I didn't want to be a chicken, you know? I was still out of breath from practicing. He lit the cigarette and I took a drag. Super gross. I don't get why grown-ups seem to actually like these things. Anyway, I took a drag. Then all of a sudden, I couldn't breathe. I coughed, and I coughed, but I couldn't get any air. Then I passed out. Luckily, my friends called an ambulance quickly. So yeah, that's it, really. Where's your freaking parents, dude? Thank you, Larissa. Girl, sorry. Uh, you explained it very well. I don't know. Could Larissa be? I don't know. Well then, care to share your opinions, my valued colleagues? What do you think, Finley? Hmm... I know. Dr. Krakowski already told me. What's up with these hard names? Can you stop? <laughs> Don't give it away, Larissa. Oh, okay. Sorry, Doc- Doctorski. I can't say that. Doctorski. Doctorski. Hee <laughs> hee. Asthma. Could have been an asthma attack. Yes, asthma's 
sounds logical. Indeed, logical and correct. What a stroke of luck. Without the help of my assistant Marissa, you probably wouldn't have thought of it. <laughs> Good. Larissa, keep doing your breathing exercises, but don't overexert yourself. You got it, Dr. Krakowski. Okay, the last stop for today is room P-33. Oh, and Finley? You already know this patient. It's Mr. Willie Arnes. Ooh, I assume their name rings a bell? It rings all the bells. Mr. Arnes, of course, yes. He's a permanent guest gun on ward. No. Oh. Mr. Arnes is an old type. That's rude. Even discounting his recent injuries, his head isn't the best of shape anymore. So, act accordingly. You just always have something to say. <laughs> Hi, Larissa. How are you? Uh, hey, Doc. Do you know when breakfast is served? Huh? Haven't you had breakfast already? You want some bacon? Oh, I'm so sorry I had to say it. Baby! <laughs> Little piggy, gotta go! P33, is it this way? 304? What the heck is a P33? Is that like code for the bathroom? The word bathroom. If you're lucky, it's clean. Sometimes you can hear faint whimpering. Oh, I've been told that's completely normal. Faint whimpering noises coming from the stalls. I feel like that. Maybe that's normal. Sure. <laughs> All right. Where's this strange room that I'm being told? What the heck is P33? That doesn't. That's not even a room number. No, P O oh, P30. Okay. Weird. Hello. Why are these names? different is this a funeral hello i'm here everything will be fine mr ardness this matter is very important to me and i'll ensure it is resolved quickly you can rest assured of that ah dr krakowski nice to see you good morning mr hydrich to what do we owe the honor why mr ardness of course. I heard he was on the mend. I have to say I'm very relieved. The poor gentleman has been through a lot. This incident has been one of the great concern to us over the past few days, as you know. I know that, yes. I've been sweating blood myself. The whole thing is rather unseemly from an insurance perspective but i was also very worried about our patient of course and let's not forget our junior doctor here i hope you're back on your feet ready to throw yourself back into the fray yep i'm good thank you mr hydrich it's great to have you back truly i admire your dedication it goes without saying that i don't blame you for the accident Nobody at St. Ursula does. St. Ursula's itself is responsible for this accident. As such, we will be taking personal responsibility for the matter. I've arranged for Mr. Ardness to receive the very best treatment available. That's why we've secured him a place in the best rehab clinic in the country. He'll be well looked after there around the clock. The rest will also help with his age-related dementia. Speaking of which, I'm glad I bumped into you this morning, Dr. Krokowski. Oh, really? Yes, indeed. Would you do me a favor and assess Mr. Ardness' condition later today? If you can discharge him with a clear conscience, let me know. Then I'll arrange the transport right away. Understood. I'll take a look and let you know. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well then, I won't keep you any longer. All of our time is precious. Yeah, bro, like, speed it up. <laughs> oh, and if you need 
extra hands on the team. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, we're good. A healthy infrastructure is essential. We don't want our staff overworking themselves and then calling in sick. Good luck. Here's to a successful day. Bro, get out of here. <laughs> yes, anyway. Good morning, Mr. Hardness. You know, my daughter looks exactly like you. Yes, yes. Well, isn't she the lucky one? How are you feeling today? I just told you, didn't I? I'm afraid that must have been before I got here, Mr. Hardness. Well, what are you doing here then? I'd like to find out how you're doing and take a look at your dressings. When's lunch today? Straight after this. Okay then, go ahead. Finley? Huh? Yes? Mr. Arnus suffers from dementia, but is still relatively fit, as you can see. He injured his leg as a result of the aforementioned incident. He also suffered a moderate concussion. Finley, would you be so kind as to change Mr. Ardness's dressing? Ew. It's important to keep the dressings fresh. We could also take a look at the wound. You want me to change the dressings, like, right, right now? You can ask Mr. Ardness to see if he wants to do it himself, if you prefer. He can't be any worse at it than you. Alright, I'm on it! I'll go do it then! Good morning, Mr. Ardness. I'm very pleased to see you. Huh? Do I know you? Yeah, maybe. There was an accident, do you remember? I want lasagna today, but hold the salad. I can't stand all those leaves. <laughs> Mr. Ardness? Finley, what are you doing? Do you want me to bring you some tea and cake? All the stress has been hard on Mr. Arnus. Now let him rest. Do your job. I just, I wanted to, okay. Sorry, freaking A, man. All right, your patient is in your hands. Well, put him down. Press and hold the button shown on the screen to administer treatment. Make sure you only press the button shown on the screen. All right, be as quickly as possible. Oh no, don't release any of the buttons as long as they're displayed. Oh, I'm panicking. Okay, buttons. Buttons. Okay, B and A. A. Oh, should I hold it? Okay. C. Okay. T. Got it. Oh, P. Oh, this is hard. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. B. Uh-huh. A. Oh, sh okay. W. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. This is a lot. This is a lot happening. I'm laughing to look at my keyboard because my... Oh, did I do it? That was stressful. The dressings may be rather average, but I'm happy with the condition of the wound. I'll be back to you later to check your readings. But there's a chance we'll be able to charge you, discharge you very soon. That'd be nice, Mr. Krakowski. Doctor? No, no, not a doctor. Just an absent-minded old fool. Oh, dear. Okay, we're done, Mia. Finley? Come with me and I'll give you your tasks for today's shift. I've done all kinds of stuff today. What do you mean, my tasks for today? I've been doing all the work for today. You guys haven't been doing anything. I diagnosed everybody. I did it like, nope, where? I'm lost. Where do I go? I think I went the wrong way. <laughs> it's my first day. <sighs> Shut up. Hey, Mia. Where am I going? Oh, hey. Hi. There you are. Back to full health, I trust? Yeah, good. Glad to be back at work. In that case, I look forward to a smooth shift. I'll activate today's tasks in your app. The walls are crumbling. They still find money for digitalization. I still don't believe in those electronic patient records. Hydrates and Theobald won't stop singing their praises. Oh, hi, Mia. <laughs> We've done our test run and some updates, so all the wards have to use this app now. 
The data protection benefits are indisputable, but I haven't seen any evidence of it saving us time yet. Anyway, just open the patient app on your smartphone. Everything else should be self-explanatory. All right, cool, thanks, bro. <laughs> Downloading today's schedule, St. Arsla's tasks. Schedule updated. Uh-oh. What's all the numbers mean? Uh, the file tells you who to treat. Oh, what they need. Oh, I got it. Okay. Any questions? I don't, I think I'm good. I've got everything I need. Absolutely. Okay. Report back to me when you... Yep. Okay. I'll report back. Yep. Make sure you don't collect any more band-aids. Oh, that's kind of mean. That's rude. Okay. I'm a clumsy kitten. Okay. I'm not a kitten. I'm like a pigeon or something, I think. I'll keep an eye on your work and evaluate it. Oh, you're like my boss, but like you can't do your job without me in the room. That's weird. Okay. Uh, so am I supposed to check on the patients? Patient, um, 301 patient. The, are you a cat? Hi, how are you? Hello, there you are. Nice to see you. Miss Martin, no. I'd rather we make it somewhere else next time. Yes, I'd prefer that too. How are you? Oh, you know. Oh, restless. Oh, okay. You feel, oh, you can't breathe, and you got bad stomach pains. Any heartburn? Always have heartburn. That's terrible. For years, stomach ulcers are no joke. Been through a lot of stress and the fat. Oh, my. Arguments with your daughter, and your job's got you pulling your hair out. I'm sorry to hear about that. Do you think the ulcer is stress-related? Hmm, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, in fact, you're very unlikely to develop an ulcer from stress. And it's true that stress isn't good for the stomach, though. It can give you heartburn. Can you do anything about it? It's lucky you came to see us so early. That's good. Last night's test showed you a bacterial pathogen. Gross. That's what's causing the ulcer. I'm going to start by prescribing you medicines. Whatever you think will help. All right, let's see. Let me just stab you right here. Readings to their optimum levels. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Oh, this one's different. What do I do? Oh, boy. Oh, my. Okay. So, I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, I have to give her three pills, I think. So, we want... No, that pill is not great. What, this one? Uh, I think this is it. I'm signing off on that. So I hope it was right. Hey! Yay! I did good! That should have you feeling better in no time. Someone will come give you medicine before lunch. Till then, get some sleep. I should rest my eyes. I was up all night with the pain. Get well soon. See you later. Thank you. Good night. Alright. We got you medicated, Miss Martin. Oh. This patient's back to life. This is weird. Yay. B, yeah, I was a little bit bad with that one. So sorry, Miss Piggy. That really was only cold for a second. Hee hee. What did you hear, Doc? Nothing too bad, Larissa. But there was a faint rattle. A rattle? Like the musical instrument? No, not... Well, can't. Yeah, no, but... I used to play one of those in my school orchestra. But I didn't swallow it, I promise. I actually think it's your body that's rattling. Is that bad? Uh... Yes. <laughs> Your file says you were admitted yesterday. You got given some medicine, right? It got better? Yeah, I thought I was going to suffocate. Really scary. But then I suddenly felt better. It was crazy. I'm sure it was. Well, keep an eye on, I'll keep an eye on you for a bit. There's nothing to worry about. What you went through was awful, but things will get better again from here on out. Okie dokie doc. Try to make yourself as comfortable as possible. I'll check on you again tomorrow. It's your thing. All right, next we got to deal with, I don't even know what that is. We'll see. 
lot of water, water, water. Oh, look at my, I'm in a little bird feet. Hello, I don't remember who you are. Good morning, Miss Helmig. I don't remember that. You've had thyroid surgery. How are you? I'm very thirsty. Talking and swallowing are difficult. That's very understandable. Take it easy. Drinking can be a little tricky when you've had surgery, but once the wound has healed a bit, the swelling has gone down, it'll be fine. You'll be on your feet again in no time. That would be nice. I'd hate to have to spend the last good days of the year stuck in here. We'll make sure it doesn't come to that. I'll change your dressings and take a quick, quick look at your sutures. All right, let's get to it. Oh boy, what's happening? U, I, O, O, C, B, B, M, uh, U, uh, M, G, O, E, go. Oh, shoot. I think I'm killing her. I think I'm killing her. <laughs> I was clicking the wrong things. I still got an A. I messed that up royally. And they're like, A for effort. Looking good. Everything seems to be all right. Try to talk as little as possible. Yeah, don't, don't. <laughs> Keep your mouth shut about what just happened. Like, this is the perfect patient for this to happen to. She's not going to tell anybody. Drink a lot, yeah. Just don't talk to anybody. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you later, okay? Don't tell anybody. I wasn't I wasn't even here. Bye. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All done, Dr. Krakowski. Good, good. How was it? Pretty good, I think. All right, let's see. Abba! Woo! I think I did pretty good. Everything seems in order. Thank you. Perhaps the knock to your head did some good after all. Keep it up, Finley. Okay. I have another task for you. I'm giving you the opportunity to save me some time and to get to, to know the hospital a little better. Sure. Need you to go to the lab. Oh, in the basement. No! Just keep following the stairs until you get to the bottom. Oh, no. You can take the elevator if you like. The basement? <sighs> I've sent some blood samples to Dr. Hillel. I need the results. Can you manage that without injuring yourself again, Finley? As long as the stairs don't collapse underneath me, I should be okay. Well, let's all keep our fingers crossed, then. Off you go. I need those results today. Lab, basement, Dr. Hillel, got it. All right. Um, they, he said that I could take the basement, I mean the basement, he said that I could take the elevator down, but did I go the wrong way again? Oh my goodness. I am getting all sorts of backwards in this hospital. Okay, we're in the basement now. I don't think I like this very much. Jump over the box. Last time this was danger. Hospital archives. No one knows what treasures they hide. Okay. 40 years of stale cigarette smoke. Do I keep going? Oh. Uh, secrets? I can hear a voice through the ventilation. You're sure you weren't followed? I promise we're all alone. Good, good. If it gets out, we're in a meeting. I'll be in trouble. Trust me. I'm only here because of you. Hold me tight. Oh, I'm overhearing something. <laughs> Don't know what's going on. Wait, there were stairs there? I didn't even notice that. Can I go over here? Can I like knock off the stairs? No. Okay. Uh, interesting door locked. Hello? See that red light above the door? The what? Yes, I see it. Good, good. Excellent. Well then. So I'm here to... You see the red light, don't you? Yeah, I see the red light. A red light usually means something like very busy, prohibited, negative, no access, simply no. But I need the blood results urgently for Dr. Krakowski. Dr. Kakowski, is it? I see. That does alter the parameters somewhat. Do you want to see a magic trick? Uh, I'm not sure. Yes, yes, of course you do. Pay attention. 
Oh, light's green now. <gasps> Wonderful. <gasps> I haven't even stood up yet. Wow, can I come in? What do you think? You see a green light, don't you? Wow, you're, you're, you're quite the character. Can't wait to see you. Oh, hi. All right, here I am. Whoa, what are you doing here? I was outside the door just talking to you. Fascinating. And? And what? The light, was it green? Yeah, it was green. Excellent. Look, I need the blood results that Dr. Krakowski asked you for. Ah, indeed, indeed. So why are we wasting our time chatting? Follow me. I think I have your results around here somewhere. All right, let's go. Mr. Sarcasm. You got some loud machines in here. Maybe you can turn it down a bit. What am I supposed to, what, 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 what now? Now, where were you? Where were we? Yes, oh yes. Ah. The documents you requested should be here. Oh, you keep your documents in the blood refrigerator? Of course. Saves time when matching them to the samples. I'm a great believer in shortcuts, you know? The day becomes so much more efficient if one reduces the distances between A and B. My system is simple. It cuts down on sorting and filing work, too. And now, you too can benefit for the, from the fruits of my diligence. Well, if that's all. Oh, look at you. Oh, no. Oh, horror. What a mishap. Wow. That bang made my heart jump. My whole system. I... Let me just put things right and it'll be all right again in no time. Oh, woe is me. Can I help? What do you mean? You want to help me? That makes me very uncomfortable. Oh, that happens. Let's see. Just a minute. Why do the samples have different colored lids? That, my dear doctor, that's my sorting system. It looks complicated. On the contrary, it's as easy as pie. Each sample has a sticker on the lid. Each sticker has four different colors. Some of the samples fell out due to the accident. Others have gotten turned around, so they're not facing the right way. You need to turn the samples round until all the same colors are facing each other. When four samples are positioned correctly, they'll make a single colored square. Once all the samples are facing the right way, you'll be able to see where the samples that fell out slot in. It's quite simple. Got it. You're very smart. All right, let's do this. What a disaster. Okay, Q and E to rotate the flasks. Um, and then, okay, we'll see. Oh boy. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to go with, sir, your sorting system is crap. That took so long. I could not figure that out. It's not fantastic at all. It's, that was the worst. I'd better get back to my work, yeah. Ugh, my eyes. Was there something else? Yeah, I needed blood. That's the whole reason I was here. Results? Oh, right, right, Dr. Krakowski. Why didn't you say? I did say, I'm always happy to help, but I only have 24 hours in my day. Oh my gosh. Here you are. With my flawless system, I always have everything in hand. Enjoy. And please don't forget to close the door behind you. One needs to hear oneself think, don't you know? All right, see ya. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my brain. Oh my gosh. I gotta get out of this weird basement. Take me back up. Yes, please. Goodbye. I'm done. Here. Dig it. Why did it take so 
You're real. Did the bus to the lab not turn up? Yeah. No, I had to help Dr. Hillel sort his samples. You had to help him? Yeah, I... Do you see Dr. Hill Hill tri Dr. Hillel here tending to the patients on the third floor? No, you don't, because that's not his job. St. Ursula's is a finely tuned machine. If one clock fails, everything grinds to a halt. Call it a day. Take some rest. Maybe you'll feel about more up to speed tomorrow. See you tomorrow morning, right on time for the start of the shift. I expect to see the same level of performance in your treatments as you showed today. Got it. Have a nice evening, Dr. Kukowski. Bye. I think I just went in the stairs. I don't think that was the exit. Oh, my freaking... My, <laughs> my co-workers are like, uh, yeah, you just went into the stairwell. Ooh, it's dark outside. This is spooky. Trash. This is where all the medical waste ends up. That and all the leftovers from the cafeteria. Smells the same, tastes the same. Gross. Ugh. Agreed. What? Oh, there's a brick wall in the way. <laughs> I was like, well, I can't walk this way. Oh, oh, hey guys. You guys like, um, EMTs? There's a specialist. How'd it go, specialist? Wasn't easy, how about you? He wants to know how it went for us. He's a curious one. Same as always for us. Had a few call-outs, car accident, laceration, that kind of thing, that kind of thing. When do you get off work? Oh, we clocked off a while ago. We're just gonna hang out here for a bit. Yeah, just hanging. Ah, I don't think you do. It's not as simple as you think. Maybe I can join? No. Nope. Okay, never mind. Maybe next time. Maybe. Have a nice evening. Have fun hanging out. That was awkward. Another brick wall. How do I get out of here? <laughs> I'm so confused. This must be the back way. Yeah, I must have went the wrong way. My bad. Ah, front of the hospital. We are finally out. Yay. All right. Time for the long trek home. Maybe this time the bus will actually come? I don't know, though. Bus? I'm not even trying. The bus won't come. Will I ever see it again? Aw, have to walk. Never mind. Should I stop in the bar? I can hear voices. Juliano's probably in full flow. Ooh, yeah, but I'm too exhausted. Maybe tomorrow. Aw, no parties tonight. Just sleep. Let's go. Home. Off to bed. Good night. Good morning. I'm alert. I'm up for it. I can do anything. On it. I'm on top of the world. <laughs> That's what I would say right now if I were the kind of guy who cheers himself on in the morning. In the mirror every morning. Luckily, I'm not that kind of guy. And luckily, I don't have a mirror. That would be very uncomfortable for everyone involved. All right, guys. So I am going to go ahead and end this part here. If you guys are interested in seeing more of this gameplay, let me know in the comments down below. I'm having a lot of fun with this game. I think it is so cute. So go check it out, Fall of Porcupine. You can get it on Steam. It just released. Uh, it It's a really fun game. I really like it so far. So hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!